the first step is to download all the required files that is the virtual box then the ISO file for Mac OS Catalina the third is the virtual box code that we will be using and last is the extension pack for virtual box I have provided all the download links in the comment section below you can download all the files one by one since the ISO file is 8.3 GBs and I have already downloaded it so I will cancel the download for now this is the virtual box code file since we are installing virtual box on old PC that is with the low configuration there are certain steps you need to follow now we will disable the firewall as you can see I have already disabled my firewall you can go to advanced settings and disable it the next step is to disable your defender you need to disable the real time protection as well go to manage settings and disable it Now the next step is to install the virtual box. Click run. Since I'm using a low configuration desktop, it will take the same time. Click next. Next. Again next yes install click install installation is finished the next step is to activate the files go to file preferences and install the extension pack agree to the terms Once the pack is successfully installed, now we will create a new virtual machine. Open virtual box. Let's try to reload the extension. You need to make sure the extension is installed. Since it's already installed, I'll reinstall it. The 
the next step is to click new now copy the name of your ISO file though you can use any name paste it now I'm changing the default machine folder to my another drive since I don't want it to interfere with my Windows files so I'm using a blank drive that is my D drive now click new as you can see the machine folder has already changed to D drive now I'll paste the name click next increase the memory size you can choose it whatever you want click create a new virtual hard disk VHT next now increase the size to whatever you like make sure it is greater than 40 GB now go to settings system I remove the floppy version now increase the number of processors to 2 since we have a low configuration PC we can only use 2 cores increase the display memory now I'm uploading the file the file that you have downloaded on the desktop go to USB and select 3.0 press OK and close your virtual box now the next step is to use the virtual codes on your CMD click start type CMD and run it as an administrator now open the notepad file The next step is to copy the name of the virtual machine since we are using Mac OS Catalina 10.15.5 I've copied it now open the virtual box codes now replace the VM name with the name of a virtual machine paste it now replace all now open your CMD again And start processing the requests one by one now close the CMD and start your virtual machine again click start select the ISO file that we have chosen and click start now you can see your set of codes that will be running now you can ignore these codes and since we are using a low configuration PC these steps will take some time One important thing is that since you are using low configuration PC you need to make sure that visualization is enabled on your system you can check out the comment section below and find the video on how to in install and activate your visualization technique these codes will run for a while and then we will install Mac OS Catalina
you can use the same process for your new configuration systems, desktops, laptops. So that will be not a problem. Now we will be setting up our Mac OS Catalina on VirtualBox. to select the language now these are the basic steps that you use to install an operating system the one important step is to remove the go to disk utility and erase the previously installed data storage you can rename your drive to anything you want. I'm using techdigital.com. Now simply erase it and proceed with the installation of your Mac OS. Now you can close the disk utility and install Mac OS. to the terms and conditions select the drive and click install if you find any errors you can drop your questions in the comment section below 